Genesis chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make a brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had a brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old, and begat Aphaxad, two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Aphaxad five hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And Aphaxad lived five and thirty years, and begat Selah. And Aphaxad lived after he begat Selah four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirty years, and begot Eber. And Selah lived after he begot Eber four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and thirty years, and begot Peleg. And Eber lived after he begot Peleg, 430 years, and begot sons and daughters, and Peleg lived 30 years, and begot Rio, and Peleg lived after he begot Rio 209 years, and begot sons and daughters, and Rio lived 2 and 30 years, and begot Serug, and Rio lived after he begot Serug 207 years, and begot sons and daughters, and Serug lived 30 years, and begot Nahor, and Serug lived after he begot Nahor, 200 years, and we got sons and daughters, and Nahor lived 9 and 20 years, and we got Tira, and Nahor lived after he begot Tira, and 119 years, and we got sons and daughters, and Tira lived 70 years, and we got Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Tira. Tira begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begot Lot, and Haran died before his father Tira in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees, and Abram and Nahor took them wives, the name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child, and Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan, for they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran.